Hey YouTube, I want to make a video on a setup that I have decided to go with regarding uh, sharpening lawnmower blades. <clears throat> and the rig or the jig that I've decided to go with after a lot of research is the All-American Sharpener model of 5005 Gen 2. It's a great, uh, very consistent tool that I use or jig that I use. I also wanted to show you kind of how I've configured this. So when you buy this sharpener, it comes with this bracket right here. And I attached it to a four x four, clamped it to a, uh, a portable table, which is made by Ketter. Everybody needs a Ketter portable table to work with. It's absolutely fantastic. And then I uh, attached a two x four, or actually a two x six, coming off the four x four to mount my balancer on. So it's very, uh, very portable, very uh, secure when you go to use it. Got the DeWalt clips on each side, four by four connected to the All-American sharpener, and then the uh, balancer. So the sharpener, the 505 model, runs about uh, $220 right now. And this balancer is probably close to $100, but it is so sensitive and you really get very balanced blades. One of the things I wanted to point out on this is that when I bought this, the ma these are all magnets that go around the blade to hold the blade on. It was so, it held so tight, it was really difficult just to pull the blade off. So I put these little felt stops on here, kind of the sticky felt tabs that you would put on the bottom of a vase so you wouldn't scratch a table or something. So I put those on all of the six magnets and it really reduced how hard it pulled on that blade, it, but it holds very secure like that. Another point I want to mention is that when I first uh, started sharpening this, I used these flapper discs and it kind of put a, not kind of, but it did, you put a con, I guess a convex curve to the blade and it kind of bulbous out a little bit. And then it put a nice sharp bl uh, edge on the blade, but it kind of had that convex uh, uh, finish to the blade. So I went to the actual sand or the uh, grinding discs that you're familiar with and it put a much, uh, much flatter um, finish on that blade. These uh, all American sharpers, absolutely, you can see. How, how consistent that works. However, um, you can go to the website, but basically the way these work is you'd put in that, that grinding disc and then you just run up the blade and it's connected on a pin on the side on that arm. You go to the, uh, the website they have and they'll show you exactly how this works. But it runs up a very consistent angle on this. Another thing that I really like about the 505 model is that it's it's not doesn't have stops on the angles so i'm right now sharpening at i would say probably 32 degrees 33 degrees but anywhere from 15 degrees to 45 degrees you can set this up to sharpen the blade so and so there aren't stops along the way it's just graduated wherever you want to stop it and you just tighten the uh I'll show you in a second underneath here you tighten this screw down, this little knob down, to set wherever you want that angle to be set at. So it's very versatile. What I'd usually do is when I first get the blades, there's paint on here and I adjust the, the angle based to get that paint just coming off as I run that disc down here. And mine was, we're at about 30, 32 degrees, 33 degrees. Anyway, that's my setup. Works great. Easy to uh, configure, set up in a short couple minutes and then you break it down Take the four x four in the house, put the clamps away. This whole setup with the uh, with the balancer probably is about three hundred and twenty dollars. Then you got to buy the angle grinder, of course. But uh, that's that's how I've decided to go with. It works fantastic. Hope that helps you guys. Bye.